And I believe we are live! Good day, good day, my dear fellow friends. My name is Raven Marine, aka Thunbone One, and welcome to another Thumbcast. Today it is episode 24 of this wonderful thing that we have going. Today we have a special guest today. A man who actually represents the Imperium in the, I believe it's the dev side, he's a good creator. And him and I are, well, trying to know each other a little bit more. But not the reason why that he's on this thumbcast. <laughs> and, oh wait, you know what, I'll, I'll just say this afterwards. Um, I give you all the man that made himself Warren. Do tell me, Warren, how was your day? Uh, one. Hello. Ah, there Hello, are. everyone. Hello. Detail. Hi. How was your day? How was my day today? Well, Thunberg, I'll just tell you right here, right now, I've been having one hell of a day. Mind you, I've been out here working hard in the sun here in the Scottish weather, when usually it should be rainy and weathery, but instead... It's been roasting, and my balls have been sweating. So anyways, I've been hovering my head to toe in sun lotion. So, I don't ken what you've been doing today, but I've been just putting down slabs, playing them up, getting sand and dirt all up and down my naked, sweaty body, and I don't ken what else to do next. You hear me? <laughs> I hear you loud and clear. Oh, oh thanks, God. man. That, 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 that was... That was... That was beautiful. I have full yes, I, uh, I don't even. I don't even know if the audio was able to pick it up while I was laughing. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, that was the basic summary of uh, a Scottish introduction in a Scottish accent. Uh, as I am the only, well, actually, no, there's another Scotsman in a member, and I am grumpy bastard Scotsman who's in a DA with you. I think. Huh. Uh, He's got to oh, he's, he's he's a Glaswegian, so unfortunately, um, I'm sorry that you have him in DA with you. Oh come on, don't don't uh, nah, he's. I can I can diss I can diss my fellow Scottish members. <laughs> Anyways, um, the uh, well, as you all know, and as you quite know, that the videos are not as constant as usual. Well, because mm. well, because of certain life issues are starting to, you know, get more serious than usual. I'm actually, for some of you who don't know, that I'm actually doing some little construction work for my family. Other than other than that, we are trying to get that little house down so we can, well, say, call it officially home. This is attaching to the propaganda of me moving to another house. But other than that, it has been quite hard work, and as you know, from... The moving the, house, too? Yes, from the oh. Scottish point of view... Okay, I might, I might be doing that the wrong way, but... Uh, I don't think we're from the Scottish point of view. We're moving home as well. I've got me and my partner are moving from Scotland, and we're unfortunately moving to England, where I have to live near Algol, which is unfortunate to hear because he's English. Yeah. Oh. However, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry uh, to tell you that. I don't, I don't know if you knew this or not, but yeah, that's. Uh, no, 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 it's absolutely yeah. fine. You see, change okay. is very important within this world, and we often have to get used to it, or uh, or just ignore it entirely. Either. Yeah, you know, you know the you know the history of um Scotland and England, right? Uh, not, not really, and I do not wish That's to. Okay. I do not wish to go into that topic. Well, not at least yet. Whenever the whenever the thundercast is like more, more, not vibrant. Well, it's, more, it's more, it's more, it's more Roblox dot com slash Imperium of Man dot co dot uk. Yes. So until so yeah. until that is mostly situated within some recent development, I think we can get more topic, get more on that topic. Besides. I think I am planning to invite some of the usual guests just so we can discover the other topic of talking about random things within the Imperium. 
and and sure. basically in Caldega Prime. So, oh, and yeah, one more thing before we begin on this. I can quite let you know that the Funkcast is still going to be up. It's just going to be slow for the time being. I will still be doing some... I'll still be doing some um, invites on who's going to be part of the Thundercast on some occasions. That's awesome. Yes, it's just going to be a little. It's just going to be no, a little bit slow at the time, depending on the mood that I'm in. Anyways, anyways, you have two options here, Warren. Would you like to talk about random stuff about the IOM community, or get your or get an interview? Um, up to you, Sonny. Well, it's not clearly up to me. It's all up to you, actually. I am not the person who often decides, who often decides who. Besides, I am giving well, you the free will to talk about anything here. Oh no, you're giving me free will. You know what that means. Don't you dare talk about my li- Don't you dare talk about my life because I don't wanna- I- I- wait. That- 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 that's okay, then I won't ask about your personal life. I'll ask about how's your computer doing now that it was recovered from its mass destruction. Oh. Oh that. Okay, okay, I like how you fall on to into that topic. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. Like, not gonna lie. Look, it, okay, wait. Now that you touch upon this topic, when I lost everything, when I lost everything up to my project and mostly some of the some of my emails, I truly felt well. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, to the point. Yeah, it's true. But in the end, I was able to bounce back due to many people that was able to wait for me in DA and also and also within the Imperium. In the end, I really thought that I just lost hope entirely. And nobody was able to come for me during that time. I had my family, yes, but they didn't understand. Yeah, but nobody what? understands what it's like to be a real gamer. True. But what would it be? Would you, would you like to get an interview, or would you like to talk about um, something random? With an we, can, we, can, we, can, we can start with an interview at first, and then we can go for the whole random things. I mean, is there anything in particular that you want to ask me about anything? Just, oh, I mean, you know what? Oh, uh, sorry. Well, just the oh. just the often six questions. Six questions. Yes. What are they? Oh, they're on a notepad that I have here. You have you have six questions. Why not seven questions? Seven questions. What do you mean seven? Wait, wait. Seven days a week. Why would you stop at six? Just because it's Sunday doesn't mean we should stop. Ah, I see the harmonization again. You want me to get here? Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't pay attention to that. I only just had six questions because it's six questions because they were like suitable, and therefore these six questions would actually bring out the more, the more lively. Wait, there we go. Lively stories of each guest. So typically, when I ask you these questions, you're basically able to be freely to talk about how you began your journey. How do you are now, and how do you like your position? Makes sense. Hmm. Oh, sure. We can do interviews then. On you go, honey. Okay. Or a bit like a question. So first question. How did you find the IOM community? With distraught, pure destruction. I wish it would die. No, it's okay. Um, the IOM community, are we talking about the 40k Discord? Well, the IO, well, the IOM community. We actually no wait. Well, all in general, actually. Um, I get along fine with it. I've had a lot of bad history with it all because I was basically the summary of Dark Art and Furious mixed together. I was pure destruction. I was basically Slanesh itself in that Discord. We used to have this uh this thing here called um well when I first came here and however I'm enjoying with it now. My Well, this isn't a question. What was I talking about? You we what was the question you, you the question was how did you find the IOM community, but keep going, keep going. How do I find the community? Yeah, I find it I find it well, I find it quite well considering I don't really end up talking to any of them anyways because I'm always busy. 
But the Discord's okay. It's a flat, it's a friendly con community to talk to. They added that new 40k Discord, so a whole bunch of randoms started showing up and started going talky talky on different things. Oh, uh, me. But besides from that, um, I don't know. It's all right. The past was more enjoyable because back then it was always drama and it would always be something funny. But nowadays it's more just everybody's working together with Caldega and Kadia and all the other secret maps that they're probably making. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. That's a little bit of a different opinion. So due to your chaotic and, uh, well... Well, Discord, by the way, there's another term for Discord sort of lifestyle. You just mm -hmm. you just like the full-on back-in-day genre where, well, like you said, drama, a lot of people have lost mental well, stuff. Well, that was, that was what I was used to before in the past, just going away, but nowadays the Discord's more calm and collective and I don't much mind it, and it's quite nice. Before in the past, we used to have things like the um, the Eye of Terror, which is something you you didn't get to experience on which is good because that channel got deleted on the main IOM Discord for good reasons, and it was all because of Master Yoda who caused it. I heard of this rumor of the Eye of Terror. Yes, I the Green kind of, Apocalypse. I kind of thought that this Eye of Terror sort of uh, channel. Would it just have been, uh, you know, the NSMW concept? Yes, it was the opposite of what the script stood for, and I don't think nowadays that would ever be appreciated coming to past. Which is okay, and that's fine. Aside from that, all the other channels, we had a whole bunch of oddballs in the past from the community, but most of them are gone now, mm. which is for good reasons, because they weren't. Nowadays, standards wouldn't be. Approved, I would assume. Hmm. Could you say that you're proud to live it through it all, and yet to come to, well, a peaceful community now? Well, I mean, I was, before in the past, probably the worst member here because I was such a troll, and I would be getting demoted and exiled once a week. Jeez. But then I sort of chilled up. And now, obviously, I ended up as a commissar, which you saw. But then I lost that, and that's mostly due to my inactivity, which is fine. I'm not too bothered with it. I was only in for the commissar position to the, to the new Scala Progenium, which was the Officer Academy. And we had a Barb, Wither, Calcius, GT, uh, Renovant, those names. All those bundles of people that we had. And for it. Huh. And well, that's all I wanted it for. And uh, obviously, it, it stopped for a bit because they were reworking and I just felt inactive otherwise and I got put back down. I've been offered for Corporal again and the Grenadiers, but um, I don't think I'll have time to do it. At least not for the next two months or so. Hmm. So again, like you, I'm also moving. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's hard to try to multitask almost everything. You know, still showing my honor and devotion to the Emperor's will. But yet this entire thing that I'm trying to do... Who's oh, the, the, the Emperor? Argo and John. Well, uh. they actually consider us both. They actually have one profile on Roblox that actually acts as one account. But they don't have yeah. to use it. But either, but either way, I just try and try my best. And well, mm -hmm. that's how I'm here. But what about yeah. you being in the dev position? Have you lost oh. that as well? Uh, what do you mean? The Grenadier's oh, DKK's wait, wait. position? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me rephrase that. And also add a little bit something. Two things, actually. Sure. These videos will not be edited in any sort of way in order to capture the funny and the interesting moments of the Thumbcast. And also, one more thing. The... And also one more thing, the, some of these, I mean, due to the position that you are in, you must not reveal any important information that hasn't been released to the public, due to me remembering you being a dev, if I'm correct. Am I? I'm not a dev. Wait, what? Then... Oh... I just do, I, I'm not like an official dev, I kind of just do bits and pieces for them. 
Oh. Well, then... But they don't know this. Well, then... Yeah, I didn't actually know that, but... How does that come up for you? Well, going for you, actually. Um, I basically... I work for free, basically. I do... I do it as a hobby and do bits and pieces, which resulted in... So, I basically did the terrain and some props of Caldega. I've done the same thing for Cadia. I made a bunch of stuff for McCraig, which never got used, which was going to be used for um, uh, a sword training for the Ultramarines against other groups. I basically, I, I, I build up the structure of each of the main games. I don't know if Cadia has been changed entirely. Obviously, I can't talk anything more about it or show anything about it. But that's it. Um, as for Caldega in terms of props and the way the thing's made, I basically made the um, the Caldegan gate, the whole Imperium of Man's big gateway that we had, some of the props, some of the bunkers, a few of the Chaos's things, all sorts. I just make little bits and pieces for them. Ooh, okay. So though that your role is merely but a minor... Is really but a minor, simple, well, yes, position. You're still able to be happy and proud of it, right? Like, yeah, I mean, that was, I've been in different positions in this group that people don't expect me to be because of my past in the group. I mean, no one expected me that I would be an Inquisitor for a whole year while I was in there. Plus, they knew me before as being a troll. That's why I put on the perfect disguise, is why no one could detect who I was. Until Fortis figured it out, because I decided to include my sword fighting skills on my alt on my main account. And they kinda just went two and two together. You had a main account? I mean, an other account of some kind? Um, so, like... It's public news, a lot of people know about this in ION, the new people probably don't know, but the Inquisition was just alt accounts, and I was one of them. Um, Seco was the Lord Inquisitor, and I mean, it's got talked about publicly, so everybody knows, so it's not like I'm disclosing um, secrets that nobody knows, everybody knows this. Well, it is good to somehow recap this, and besides, what better way to recap it but in video form? So go yeah. ahead. Um, as what? Uh, like what? Oh, but like, like, oh, oh. Uh, I was expecting that you had would have more on this sort of information. That well, even... well, more on the information on the Inquisition was basically just, like, again, my... My past history as the biggest troll in this group is what people wouldn't suspect me to ever be in the Inquisition because that position is highly for, you know, infiltration and all sorts. And obviously I've had multiple alts in this group in multiple positions that I can't say what those are, but I can just say that I was Inquisitor Hyperion. And Hyperion was obviously based off of a great knight, just for the jokes. But that was the basic spending of it. Um, um, other than that, I was about eight in this group. The only time, by the time I was leaving my Inquisition account is like last year. This is when I was on the Grey Knights, and this is before, uh, like, this was like, um, again, a year ago. So I had joined it, and I was the only one in it. And the summary of it was it basically had nothing to, uh, I couldn't really run because I was the only one in it. So I ended up being disbanded from it anyways. And then um, after that, I started following back to my old ways on my main account. Whilst I was still in the Ultramarines again. Which I probably forgot to mention, I was in the Ultramarines about three times. But I fucked about basically, and then I lost everything, and then I left the group for a few months, and then I came back when Fortis invited me and Seco into the Arbites, which was basically the Inquisition again, except it was police forces and on our mains, because that's basically how it turned out to be, and I proved to be really useful in areas that they didn't expect me to be, 
and I got offered back in again and I basically got an apology from Algo about it all from the whole stuff of the past which was nice and then I've just been doing my best since then I've just Obviously, I've been in um, the Commissar, like I said. I was in NT first before I joined it. And then now I'm just left it because of a lot of drama that's been happening in my home, which uh, a lot of people know about what that is. I won't say on YouTube, but that's the base. That's the basic of it. Now I'm just back as DKK as a Grenadier, and I think I'll keep as Grenadier for... The rest of my time, I guess, until I want to do anything else. The hell am I doing? That was a lot. That was a lot to say, my bad. <laughs> no, 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 that lot of say was actually able to give a full on eye opener to the many viewers, plus me. I never even mm. knew this. I'm a man who's actually really interested into the veteran story of their time, and one yeah. you have given, you have given that. You're like the, you're like the other people who actually give me a full on shed of a tear from that, and you did. Mm. Yeah, well, I've basically done MT. I've been in the Ultramarines about three times now, three nights for about a week. Uh, the Inquisition for a year, the Arbites for a month before the whole uh, Fortis situation, which was posted publicly on the document, which everyone read, about him trying to cause a... What was it? What was he trying to do? It was like a little riot against all the high comm to make everybody leave. Yeah. Which was, I like, I'll, I'll be honest, I liked Fortis as just a person, but I guess there was stuff behind him that I didn't know about, and it was just his attitude about things, so I don't know. I thought he was okay, but I guess in the end, he ended up just being a bit of a monkey with his whole situation. Well, not to give it into the term of a monkey, most like a per mostly like a person who's... Oh, I'll just re I'll replace, I'll replace monkey with s sausage. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. But in my eyes, I felt like he had lost, he had lost his way. Like something had made him snap out in the real world and choose. Well, <laughs> you say that. It, it, it turns out when I was no, talking no, with no, Alpo. No, 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 no. This is fine, this is not, this is... No, we have already this had this is, conversation. This is, this is with, no, we, are, we already had this conversation with Al... Oh, uh, uh, yes, Algo. I believe that we have already... I believe that we have already known, and I will actually move away from that topic, just so I won't have to edit another video, which actually, last time by the way, that video took an hour in advance, and I had to keep my laptop on the entire time just That's so... Okay. Well, I, won't say, I won't say it, but I'm just saying that everybody knows, I've, I've talked about this before publicly, about why he did what he did. Yes, but for the sake of YouTube purposes, I would not want to get on the uh, Okay, that's fine. Well, yeah. other than that, we'll move away from it and move on to the next topic. Yeah. Of question. Yeah, so, so far, real quick, you've answered question one, which which was how did you find the Iowan community. You actually answered question two, what was your journey like in the Iowan community? And you actually answered question three, what's your position like in the Iowan community? Now we only got three more questions to go. Yeah, well, well fine, sure, only go. Yep. So, so, this will be an interesting question for you. Fourth question. What are you going to do in the near future in the IOM community? Once you get all set up... I don't know, I'm looking at all the groups. For some reason, they carried on the ban list for me and the Ultramarines in... DA for some reason, but now I realize DA is kind of well, they lost their chapter master in about a week or so, or something like that. What was that month? Yeah. So that's the vine of the way. So I did notice, I don't think, actually, no, I don't think we're allowed to talk about this, are we? I don't think. Uh, I'm not going to say I, anything. I, Never mind. I, I, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Well, like, well, you can you can edit you can edit this out, but I'm just gonna say I noticed that. Uh, actually, actually, wait. People already done saw that divine was out, and therefore care. 
No, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what really happened with Divine, but the basic with him is he was inactive, and Kara ended up leading everything over, which makes sense. With Kara, Kara is a more of a fighter and a disciplinarian, in my opinion. I mean, other people have different opinions on him, but I just remember him as that, as a fighter and a disciplinarian. When it comes to leadership, I've never really seen him with it, other than his white scars, which got shut down, which is why nobody knows it exists. Apart from all the OGs that are here. By OGs, I'm on about two years ago, but me, I was here from when this group was originally first made, back in 2015, 2016. Back when there was different leaders, we used to have um, people like Russ the Allfather. At the time, we used to have Primarchs running around. Nowadays, that will only ever happen so rarely. Wait, who was Rusty Allfather? So Ru Russ the Allfather used to be basically the Emperor before. He was the person who used to own the group in the past. There's a whole bunch of stuff here in this discord is so old i've got old pictures all the way back when i used to be a custodian in this group huh. yeah i used to be a custodian black templar um was it raven raven guard as well but, but back then i suppose it's different to better how i used to be now because back then for the raven guard i would literally dress up as a bird <laughs> 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 so that was the funny side of things but i don't know that was just um, the past with that. As for what, what was the question again? I keep forgetting the question. Then uh, answering it. It's fine. It's fine. What are you going to do in the near future in the IOM community? Ah, well, what am I going to do now? Um, I don't know. I'll do a little dev props, and I'll probably just stick with the Grenadiers for the remainder of the time that I, I stay in the group. For I've got. I'm not. I'm not in anything else anymore. I'm just. Grenadier itself, and that's about it. Hmm. So I, I, I don't know. I've, I've I've achieved a lot already. So whatever new division division chapter or something opens up, I might consider going in for it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll try out chaos for once. I get that. If I ever really wanted to dedicate myself to something. Like I was for Commissar, the reason why is because my inactivity, but I was also going to be running as the Commissar for Cadia, but I declined it, which is because of my inactivity and I would never have been able to host it. But if I really wanted to go full-blown out with things, I probably, there's multiple times when I could have been leading a whole bunch of different things that I know I could, and I could always get along with it because I've just had... Uh, Sounds silly to say, but years on Roblox kind of gives you a good perspective on how to do things. And considering the fact I'm still here, if, I don't know, Commissar would have been really easy to do with Cadia, but I don't really have a personal opinion on Cadia or Grenadiers, I guess. I did consider doing Chaos before, about last year as well. Well, obviously I had my alt on my Inquisition account and my main account, would just be me being myself without having to put on a persona and I was just in chaos for Slanesh when I was going to try and get Slanesh up and running but who knows I think it, maybe I might end up in there again I feel like if I wanted to I could go full out and try to become Horus <laughs> in this group and that would make perfect sense but you know, that's just I don't know, that's a big plan idea. I've just I've basically talked I've just been speaking heresy right now in front of you in this VC for everyone to hear. Well, every piece of information here is truly confidential. Like there is some stuff that I'm starting to know from a new from a new perspective. And therefore that yeah. perspective is starting to get on to me, but I can't put my yeah. finger I can, like I can't put my finger on it, Jack's the proper questions that won't get me, that won't get me in trouble if anything however yeah well that's fine um to be honest with you most of the stuff that i've just been i'm considering is i noticed that we had a new dev announcement and it's um it's to do with what i'm going to assume is orcs is coming up with the new called dagger update and i can tell you that a lot
What? Everyone knows this. This is public stuff. Everyone oh, saw it on an announcement. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, but, who, yeah, who, yeah. Who, who, yeah. Who, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Continue, continue. Yeah, Match, Match posted this. He posted basically um, talking lore about suddenly there's meteorites coming crashing down, but they're not normal meteorites. They're made of metal. And I'm here thinking, like, the only thing my mind can come to is red meteorites with orcs in them crash landing to Caldego. And that's what I... Again, I'm not a dev. I don't know what's happening. That's why I'm saying that's probably what's about to happen with orcs getting introduced, which will be nice. And I can tell you that a lot of people in IOM are probably going to bail for an orc position just so they can troll around. I mean, like, I think mostly people that are going to bail out is to some of the people in Skatari, I feel like. Because I know how Skatari acts, and it would basically be the same stuff. The only difference is, one, they're an IOM, and the other, they can basically do whatever and go crazy, and act like an orc. <laughs> Wag! Oh, that, would be, that would be obviously <laughs> hilarious. But to know that half of your beer period would probably join the orcs just for the funny... And by the way, this is my impression of an orc. <laughs> You can't admit like, way as you were trying to yell. Yeah, but don't worry, my mic access was able to get it, I think. Yeah, That's my mic okay. Access, yeah. The, truly, there'll be something that will be uh, globally hilarious. And also just spiking a lot of tension just to see a giant, just to see a hill covered in green, but not the green that you may think. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, that's, that was posted publicly on the announcements about it. Yeah, yeah and, I, below and, and, and I do apologize. Whatever. And I do apologize for that. I really did not know, and I think it was probably recent, was it? Or was it like a couple months ago? No, this was last, this was yesterday. They talked about it. They posted an announcements regarding it. And Orcs is supposedly... Well, I'm going to assume it's Orcs. Because what else could it be that's coming from the sky as meteorites? And that's basically what we talk about in lore with orcs, is that they ride meteorites that come crashing in. Okay. And I've been, I, I, mess, I messaged Match about this like a few months back, and I was saying, if you're ever going to introduce orcs, you should introduce in lore something like, in the sky, you'll just see a red meteorite. Like, it's like a prop in the distance, and it would slowly get closer with each update. Oh. And then eventually it would crash land. And that's how I feel like they should introduce it. And I feel like they should take out Jendal HQ and turn that into just a big meteorite crash land with orcs and oh, all their why, rust why set. Gen why Gendal? That's going to be right next to our thing. That probably is going to fall and splash the radius. No, give a little oh, full on big radius. Out yeah, but, like, the wall. but think about it. We've got chaos coming. From, okay, if we're looking at fuel station, we've got chaos from left. We've got the Eldar from the front, we've got the Necros to the right, and then we've got Orcs coming from the right. So then it's basically the Greens on the right, the Reds are on the left, and then we've got the Blues at the front. In a summary, and we're going to be getting attacked on a whole Firebase Alpha and Fuel getting attacked from all sides. Now imagine if they decided to re-add the Tyranids as well. And they're just coming from every direction. So we're basically getting bombarded like 40k should be. Oh, Jesus Christ. The days when, That'll those, be great. when, the days when those tyrannids were absolutely annoying. And they were just yeah. and they were just being a nuisance. Oh. You couldn't snipe. You couldn't do anything without getting... You have to, like, turn around just behind your corners every five seconds or so. That would be, you know, that would be a great concept. But only the one thing I would wish if the tyrannids can actually be can actually be controllable by the prime by those uh, primers or yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen, gen seeds. Yeah, those gen seeds. Like imagine, like imagine <laughs> controlling a whole lot of them by just pressing on a specific, by pressing on a specific point and the tyrannids go towards it. And all you need to do is oh. just wait for wait for them to just, like spawn in. My opinion on it is, in my opinion on it is similar, but I feel like it should be a team that they have. The Gene Seeds Killers, they come in, and the Tyranids AI make sure they don't attack people on that team, so they can run around with the Tyranids without getting attacked by them at all. So if they wanted to swarm somebody with a whole bunch of them, they could. Now that would be the purpose of the Gene Stealer cult. That would, uh -huh, be, that would be great. All right. 
So far, first um, question, very well, I mean, sorry, not first question, fourth uh, question, very well answered, with extra more detail of a good idea, yep. and some of the developers so, actually listen to these, so it would actually be good to see them. Fifth question? Oh, there, there are two more questions left. What do, oh, sure. you, think, what do you think of the IOM community? Then you asked us already on the first one. No, wait. What do you think of... No, I ask, how did you find the I1 community? Is what do you think of the I1 community? What do I think about it? Yeah. It's basically the same question from, in a sense... Oh, oh right, right. I'm so sorry. Um, you That's can a... answer that in question one, question two, and question three as a full-on whole. So I could just say you answered, like, the... The, uh... well, I don't know why this is like, I own Discord's okay, but it's it's, you, it's pretty much the same as question one, hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, 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 you you already don't answer that question, so you, so I can say that this question has already been answered. Now, final no. question. What is okay, the here we one go. thing that you would want in the IOM community? The one thing I would want in IOM... Primarchs. That's what I want to see. I want to see one Primark showing up. Because Cadia is getting released. And they're going to be adding the Blackstone Fortress in the sky with the pictures they've been releasing. And all I want to see is Horus showing up with some of the Primarchs and just having full-on fights on Cadia. I want to see like those big, huge bastards running around against three Necrons getting absolutely massacred. <laughs> well, that's like it seems like a full on disadvantage for the people who's going to be trying out there. But either way, that, is, that does sound like a pretty, pretty good idea. But it's they're going to be adding in. They're going to be adding in all sorts of stuff for this big update. New, I'd assume, new vehicle. I don't know anything. I'm making speculation. Don't worry. Okay. I'm. I'm going to assume that that's what they might add because it's. Well, then again, I did make the terrain for the size. I don't know if they've updated it or made it any larger. But to give, I guess I'm allowed to talk about this without spoiling anything, to give an idea of how big Cadia is. It's basically what Caldega used to be like with Kraken's Maw, only it's a bit bigger. There you go. So in terms of why I think Primark should be added there, I'm running around. They're going to be milliscule from the size of the map anyways. <laughs> so them running around would be pretty nice to see. Especially, like, if you see the lion with DA pulling up and running about. And then you just see Horus finally being added. And maybe because of each update they do on Cordega, they slowly update the terrain. Maybe they'll start to slowly move the Blackstone closer and closer. Like those sort of updates. Before Acadia's destruction, and maybe they open up a new game. But I reckon it'll take it like a year to do, rather than just getting rid of it all at once. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's my opinion, anyways. I just want to see Primarchs. I don't think we really need any other groups open. I mean, all the groups of the past. Inquisition, maybe in the future, it would make sense for like a roleplay aspect, like. Which we actually, we used, to have, we used to have a Terra getting worked on. But they stopped for a bit, I assumed, to work on KDL. But that's the only reason I can see the Inquisition running around. Unless KDL has, like, we've seen KDL with the city. Like, we saw this. That is true, yeah. Yeah, so maybe, maybe they'll make use of the city with all these mesh and performance updates, and maybe they'll make use for things like the Inquisition to come back again and do stuff up. I don't want them running things like alt accounts again. I'd rather it run like a CIA sort of thing, where it's public. Hmm. Okay. But that's the only thing. I would see the Inquisition and Primarchs coming back, just because of how big the map is and how all these new updates are coming in. And how we're expected to see more psychers running around, everybody blasting each other and getting murdered. That'd be good. Hmm. That would actually be a really good and cool suggestion. Other than that, my yeah. dear friend, you've answered all the questions quite well. 
And therefore, at a time of three... Oh! It's actually going to reach to 40 minutes at this point. So you know what? We shall call this Duncast with him. Warren, thank you for coming on and truly giving us a good story. Truly giving us a good thing to look back on and a good story to admire. Knowing that you, out of all people, were actually one of the oldest of the old within the IOM community and this Wolf 40k genre. So it's good yeah. to have you as a full on veteran for us. Mm. Right. Final thing, do you have anything to say for the Bible viewers and for anyone in general? Um... You can get far in a script without having to suck dick. <laughs> as long as you just be yourself. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay, that was a full look. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go basically for that ending question. Um, like the group, I'll go. I have said his name so many times now, but I'll go rewards rewards you for hard work that you do. So he basically runs up by all of his officers. So if you want to get about, just do well in the group without trying to do any sort of sneaky bypasses or argue constantly to get about. Because it doesn't run like that in this group. Because you compare this group to like Ravens or sorts and their whole group, like joining it in the first five minutes and seeing how everything ran, you could already tell it was going to be destroyed in a matter of weeks compared to this group with the setup that it has. Everything's in order. There's just certain groups like that you can tell will last long. So, no need to rush in this group. If you want to get about, you just do things casually and hang out. Very, very well said, Juan. Mm -hmm. However, you... Are you... Yeah. So, however, yeah. everyone of you, you have a wonderful day to enjoy yourself. Do not forget to fight for the faction that you fight for, and always remember, each incoming raid and incoming new special is always a good thing to have. That always yeah. gives you the determination and will to know that the Emperor himself watches you every day. Yep, he watches you every day. He watches you whilst you're sleeping. He watches you whilst you're awake. Okay, okay, one. I'm on him, Kenneth. See what I mean? Alright, uh, I'll need to go then now. I'll let you I'll end this last part here as my last tone of voice because my girlfriend's been waiting on me upstairs. Then, I mean, for the first 10 minutes here in this interview, she was sitting on my lap. Yeah. So yeah, she was hearing out. She was. She enjoyed your voice, Thunburn. Ah, well, it's good to see you. Well, no, sorry. Um, allowing me to hear. Uh, uh, well, I'm gonna sense. go now. Um, I need to get laid. So I'll see you later, Thunburn. I love you. Alright. Mwah. Kissy kisses. Wee woo wee woo. -woo, -woo. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Log end.